Well, I've been meeting with various employers across the riding since the beginning of January, specifically people in the service industry like ReadyQuip and others that we've gone to visit. And uh, they're all essentially up against the same thing, a real manpower shortage when it finds skill operators, truck drivers, tradespeople, all of them are looking for people and it's becoming to be a, a large problem trying to track them. So we're pulling the contractors together and different people in the service industry in order to look at what can be done in order to assist. But one of the interesting things we found going through all of this is that one of the issues around training. So you've got an 800,000, a million dollar uh, piece of machine that's harvesting wood or moving wood in the bush. You want to make sure that you properly train your people so that you can maximize the efficiency and how you use the equipment so you have better production, you lower your cost because you have less fuel cost, less breakdown, etc. cetera. Uh, so this company has ordered a uh, simulator and the simulator allows them to train operators on how to use their equipment that they sell uh, so that when you go into the bush and you actually do the work uh, that you got some training. So the training is not just for people at the basic level, it's also for skilled operators uh, to be able to learn how to use the equipment more effectively. So for example, uh, speaking to the uh, trainer today that was in from Finland, uh, they're saying uh, companies that have gone this way have seen their production increase by 30% and the cost decrease in kind of the same way. So it's a good way for contractors to maximize production uh, to be able to uh, better do the job that they're doing. Let's go inside, look at the simulator, and they'll tell us all about it. I do it now uh, uh, first in a bad way, because it's five step, it, it goes very quickly. So I do it, uh, uh, but the idea here is that uh, we have a two birch, two spruce, and one pine, and birches need to be together. Spruce need to be together, and the pine can be alone. We need also think about how we are harvesting that how forward operator is also able to be a productable afterwards. But now I, I will do it first in a way what might be not the best one and we can see the results and then we look at another results. meters and I got only the 39 points from there so for the scores I, I was cutting five trees as was expected I got 100 from there but this is a, 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 a have a more bigger value on, on the scoring yeah and that's why I, I failed on there and here on the down we can see I was spending time 228 extension against of the limit so for the fuel consumption two seconds not very good and uh, we can see here 
that how my boom has been moving. The red line shows where my boom has been running and how it's, it's uh, uh, fitting for, for the trees that I have done and then if we are uh, co just uh, controlling it between uh, uh, the boom movements for the base mesh. So this gives us a lot of information, information how does it goes. And uh, it's very easy to explain for the operators as well that where we are losing our time, what we are doing wrong and what we can do Because you, you wouldn't know without those printouts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. those yes, yes, everything is possible to print out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as, no, as but so. I would know running the machine mm -hmm. that I've done this type of movement unless I can see it after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So show us how it should be done. Exercise again. I start to think about a little bit more of how I'm operating, what I'm doing, and why. And I go first here, I cut the screws, I bruise the screws to the other side, where I have already another screws. So this means that I can cut my time to move to the next tree pretty nicely. I just take it up and go and pick it up. So now, I only fill it down and I'm immediately in the right place. I can minimize my boot movement. And the two screws are put it nicely together. Now I take the birch. Where do I have another verse? And now the next verse is just nearby on me. for the 47.1 meter. So 72 meters and now 47 meters. So I got 72, 30, 35 meters less. Yeah. 35 meters less. And if we go down to see, I have a nice assortment, pretty nice, okay. And here's how my boom has been moving. Mm. And if we can, with the five stem, we can make a distance, a uh, difference of, of 35 meters. And a professional operator is dealing in one day between uh, 800 to 1,000 steps. So how much more the boom is moving, how much more is needed need fuel yeah. and the time and no cubics. Yeah. So, and these are the points when we are able to show for the operators that it's not the point to work harder, it's the question is to work smarter. Think always what you're doing and uh, the, the keep on running on that way and uh, focusing focusing what you're doing. A good plan will assist you to better production as to the, the increase the speed of the boom and uh, then you have a lot of so, so at what point would the machine actually tell you where you should go? That you should do what you did versus what you did the first time? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's uh, only the, the... It's the operator that decides. Uh, yes, it's yeah. the operator who decides. And uh, yeah. when, when there comes the, the difference of the operators, who's very uh, effective guy and who's not so effective guy. 
So that's how they are planning their work, because you need to be able to plan your work three to five steps ahead yeah. before you cut any of them. Yeah. And then you have a, some kind of internal mind is running all the time. You don't have to think about it, because everybody works with the routines. Yeah. And if your routines comes from 20 years ago, and compare for the technology what we have today, yeah. so then you are, are absolutely too late. Yeah. So you need to update your routines, and this is not very easy. Everybody wants to be as a professional guy, but uh, how to tell him smoothly and nice way that you should update your skills for comparing the technology now for you, today. You were saying that you're dealing with the urban company out east, mm -hmm. and they've increased their production by 30% as yes. a result? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So and this has a huge meaning also for, for the whole company there, because they have found out that how much more they can uh, produce and how much they can go down on their costs okay. with a new or right working methods. And plus less wear and tear on the machine, less fuel. And stuff. Yes, exactly, yeah. yes. Cool. Yeah. So there's really, really a lot of things. things and uh, it, this is, uh, for example, uh, I'm, I'm working for Ponce and we have a training team. We are 11 guys running all around of the world. To, to making this train, this kind of trainings, trainings uh, uh, all around, mm -hmm. to keep the, our customers uh, updated on their skills and their operators, operators that if our customers succeed, we are succeeding as well. This is the principle how we are doing it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you.